diagnose patients um, that um, are uncertain of the path. We, in our, in our field, especially uh, in those centers where we deal primarily with pituitary patients, patients need to really choose a center and a physician that takes a multidisciplinary approach to pituitary tumors, whether it's for a growth hormone tumor or prolactinoma or Cushing's disease. Any of these diseases require a honed expertise um, from the neurosurgeon in a transphenoidal resection. They require a partnership with an endocrinologist, the neuroradiologist, the pathologist looking at the, the tumor once it's removed, and the long-term management of these patients. You know, this is a model we call pituitary centers of excellence. Um, when you have a pituitary tumor, uh, especially a functional tumor where that hormone is, is causing changes in your body, such as with acromegaly, you want to go to someone that gives you the best option for a cure or debulking if it's a large tumor that can later be medically um, treated. Um, so, so I think that's the first step is you have to do your research and you have to understand that there might be a bit of travel involved because you're not going to necessarily find that expertise right within your neighborhood or your community, uh, but it is worth it in the end in terms of long-term outcomes for these patients. Um, so that would be my advice. That's the first step. Um, and if you're fortunate enough to uh, be cured after surgery, um, then you need to be monitored still by an expert in pituitary disorders. And, it, and if you're not cured by surgery, then we would start to talk about these medical therapy options. And in some cases, even uh, radio surgery might be an option depending on the nature of the remnant tumor. So it really takes, uh, as we say, it takes a village in the pituitary realm uh, to properly care for our patients.